Carissa Pavlika, TV fanatic. Hi, Carissa. So nice to meet you both. Hi, you too. Yeah. Abby, you're doing double duty as the creator and the star of the show. So one of the stars. what was your inspiration behind creating the show and stepping in to play one of the leads? Yeah, I mean, so Will asked me to do this with him in 2017, and I was in the middle of Broad City at the time, and I couldn't say no. This is one of my favorite films growing up. It was so inspiring to me as a woman, as a creator, as a, you know, Penny Marshall is someone I really look up to. And, you know, we were so invested in telling the stories that weren't told in the film. So as a writer creator, that is just something that we could really like sink our teeth into. Like what, what was, what also was happening here that the film does not really like shed much light on. And that was really like the jumping off point for most of our characters mm -hmm. journeys. And so that was so exciting. And then as an actor, I mean, Carson has this really incredible arc and I was just really excited to get to explore my more dramatic side as an actor. And yeah, I just, I think I, I didn't sign on for a second uh, cause I wasn't, I wasn't sure. And it was a little scary. And then once we developed the character more, I got, I felt like it was more challenging. And that's when I was like, I really wanna, I wanna get into this. So, yeah. And Shante, there was a very small role for a black player in the movie. Mm -hmm. but you've got a wonderful arc here. What does it mean to you and to be able to bring this story that was kind of missing from the first, especially to life here? Um, it, it means a great deal to me. You know, I, uh, the projects that I want to work on the most involve me telling the stories of Black women who are often forgot about or voices that went unheard for a really long time. And this project was right up my alley because of that reason. And so, yeah, my character, I got to really just dive deep in and explore what it was like to be a black woman in sports at that time. And I had never seen that before, which also attracted me to the project as well. And so, yeah, just being able to create that world, create the characters and learn about the women that my character is inspired by, which is the three women that played in the Negro leagues was, is really special. And Abby, the League of Their Own is about women discovering and enjoying their sexuality against a sports background. How did you and Will decide to merge those two into one cohesive story? Yeah, I think those storylines uh, um, are really what uh, a part of what that was not really told in the film. But, you know, queer people were not. Um, didn't begin at Stonewall. They, um, we've been around forever. Uh, and I think it was something that neither of us had really seen portrayed in 1940s. And the more research we did, the more sort of uncovered that a lot of the women in the, in the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League were queer. And just the more research we did about the 40s and 50s and, I mean, and, and 30s, about queer culture in this country, it was very exciting to tell those stories because it's just so few, you just do not really see them. And to tell the stakes and the dangers of what it was like being queer, but more importantly, to tell the joy of, of being queer and what it's like to find your community, communities. I mean, both our characters are, mm -hmm. are finding them sort of side by side and in each other. And and that was that just felt like such a natural link between, um, you know, our two worlds. And it, it yeah, it, I felt very lucky to get to share those those with. And Shantae, audience. real quick, my favorite relationship in the show is between Max and her best friend. Can you talk about their friendship a little bit? Yeah, I think Max and Clans have a perfect example of what it is to have unconditional love. They're very, very different people, but they support each other no matter what. And they love each other through the ups and downs. And, and we get to even see their friendship and relationship evolve. And it's not always perfect as no friendship or relationship is. Um, but in the end, Mac, one of my favorite line from the show is when Max says, you know, when 
plants says you found your team and max says this is how i'm going to play baseball but you're my team and max's realization to that is just really beautiful i've seen that scene a hu- i've seen that a hundred times and i cry every time <laughs> good really good work ladies thank you so much thanks thank so you. much